to simplify the given expression, the key idea is to make each part under the square root as a perfect square. Let's go. Square root of, we write the first square root as 2 times 3 plus square root of 5. So we need to divide it by 2, right? Similarly, for the second one, 2 times 3 minus square root of 5. So divided by 2. Now we expand it. So we get square root of 2 times 3, 6 plus 2 square root of 5 over 2. The second, 6 minus 2 square root of 5 divided by 2. Now we write the top as 5 plus 2 square root of 5 plus 1. And the bottom, 2 again, minus 5 minus 2 square root of 5 plus 1. Right? We break 6 as 5 plus 1 divided by 2. Now we can write the top as square root of 5 square plus 2 times square root of 5 times 1 and then plus 1 square divided by Two. Similarly, for the second, square root of 5 squared minus 2 times square root of 5 times 1, and then plus 1 squared divided by 2. So you see the top x ray is a perfect square for each. So we get square root of square root of 5 plus 1 square over 2. The second, square root of square root of 5 minus 1 square divided by 2. Now distribute the square for top and bottom. So we get the top just equals square root of 5 plus 1. The bottom square root of 2. For the second, the top is square root of 5 minus 1 over square root of 2. Now we can combine them. So the bottom is square root of 2, the top square root of 5 minus square root of 5, 0. 1 minus negative 1, actually 2. Top and bottom multiply by square root of 2, so get 2 square root of 2 divided by Square root of 2 times square root of 2, so 2. Now we cancel 2. So we get final answer, square root of 2. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.